Uh, hello and welcome into See You Next Tuesday. I have a gal pal and it is the wonderful Emily from Every Friend's Outfit uh, Instagram. I was going to say podcast, but that would be a weird podcast of you just describing all of the outfits. It might be a little difficult. Um, but if you don't follow her, you should definitely go follow her. Is it at Every Friend's Outfit? It is. It is. is a really great time. No friend is excluded. Every True. friend is and guest stars. I I'm not like I'm not like a fashion person. Yeah. I know some about fashion, but like But that's not we don't it's you don't know what this is to. about. It's no. about experiencing and appreciating mm -hmm. the insane outfits. Remembering, yeah. if you will. Rem there's, exactly. There's Remember great Instagram on, polls. It's yes. a really good time. So there's like there's strife in the comments. Sometimes I, I comment and it gets like 15 likes and I'm like, I'm it's usually my dad liking your comment. My dad likes a lot of any sort of positive comment. Like anytime someone says, I love your account. Like, it's so interesting. Like, thanks mm -hmm. for doing that. My dad will like it, which is very. The biggest thing I'm guilty of on your account, which I really need to work on, is I'll see the post and I instantly share it to my story. You really do. But then I, I, for I forget to fucking like it. That's okay. I mean. No, because that pisses me off when people do that to me. If they like share true. my post and they don't like it, I'm like, but. Can you like it? <laughs> I know. Because, like, Instagram is all about... Like, likes. Very weird. Likes. Remember when they were going to take away likes? Likes, yeah. Well, Can they took imagine? away, like, the names. Remember that? That was weird. That I don't really care about. Well, how when you swiped, you can't see what people are liking? Yeah. They took and that also, away. Also, like, you can't see... It's... Whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. That's <laughs> fine. I know nothing. <laughs> but anyway, welcome in. Um, we did a podcast like at the beginning of yeah. quarantine. You, I think you were like one of my first video guests because I just yes, started this, I and it's so funny because like, oh, I just started doing video at the beginning of quarantine, and then like I think back, and it's like, uh, it's it's like ten years ago at this point, but yes. it's actually been like five, five months. It's been so long. Just we been, have been inside. <laughs> I've been inside for six months. I moved yeah. to LA seven months ago. I've been inside for six of those seven months, which I'm very, I'm very thankful. You're allowed to complain. <laughs> I know I'm allowed to complain, but I'm trying to like keep it in perspective for myself. I understand. I understand. I, I like okay. to, I'll like complain to my mom or my sister, but like, then I'm just like, you're fine. You got mm -hmm. roof over your head. You got yes. a little beauty, little apartment. It's my first solo apartment. So I'm, I'm sure you were expecting though to be able to like have friends over and yeah. leave. Has yes. it been hard for you in quarantine to be alone going from living with somebody to then being alone and then having to be inside or has it been like therapeutic? No, it's actually been, it's actually been pretty good for me. Um, so prior to moving, I lived with my parents for about seven months Okay, on and off. So I used to live in Seattle. And mm -hmm. I lived with my sister in Seattle for two years in an apartment, which was great. Mm -hmm. um, and her cat and my dog. So it was like a fun, big company. family dynamic. Yeah, it was yeah. great. And um, then I quit my job in August of last year. I can't believe it's been a year. I know. And I decided to do a little bit of traveling um, because I knew I wanted to move to LA. I decided I wanted to move to LA last February. So in mm -hmm. 2019. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of took my time with it. And then, cause I, I wanted to move on an off time, you know, so mm -hmm. easier to find an apartment. And so I quit my job. I did a road trip to my hometown in Missouri for a wedding, which was really fun. And then I went to the UK and Ireland with oh, my how best fun. Friend. That's amazing. Awesome. It was like the best trip ever. I that's, so glad I did it last year. That's so awesome. Best. We went for like two weeks. It was like the greatest time ever. Yeah. And then it was October and I did a bunch of dog sitting to make money. I did a bunch of dog sitting. I did a bunch of like freelance work. And at that point I was like, I'm just going to stay through the holidays because there's no point moving if I'm going to be coming right back. Yeah. Exactly. So anyway, I was living with my parents for about, you know, six, seven months. Mm -hmm. And when I moved to LA, I, I obviously did, did not have a roommate. So it's actually been pretty nice because for like seven months, I, I had a room in my parents' house, but I didn't, didn't have a routine. Like I didn't right. have stuff 
for my, like, I didn't have a routine with my dog. Mm -hmm. I just wanted, like, a spot for things. I wanted a spot. I wanted, I had all of my stuff packed away for a good nine months at that point. So, I, like, missed a lot of my stuff. I was like, I had this, I had this cup that I love that I missed really bad. Yeah. But I finally got my cup back, which is thrilling. So, anyway, to make a very long-winded story short, I've been okay. (laughs) I've been all right. I think if I hadn't been so busy and living with my parents before this, I'd be in maybe a little bit more space, but Mm -hmm. doing okay. Yeah. Is it smoky where you are? I mean, it's, it's not great. Um, so I, I can see the Hollywood sign from my back door. Okay. And it's, that's kind of how I judge it. Yeah. Super hazy. Yeah. Um, but, like, the sky where I'm looking right now is pretty blue. It I is? I just where wow. I'm, like, I don't know. I, maybe I'm, like, just a sweet spot. Because yeah. I'm, I'm further south from here. Yeah, me. it's very, like, there's ash where I am, like, all over the yeah. place. And it's, like, the it's red. <laughs> it's really, really, uh, 2020 has been an experience. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a little, I'm tired of it. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, been, sure. it's been a moment. It has. There's a lot. Um, yeah. I mean, the pandemic has very clearly unearthed things that were already there. Yeah. Um, so for yeah. people who are like, oh my God, this is so surprising. I'm like, it's not really, if you think about it. Yeah, it's no, really- it isn't. Yeah, anyway. But um, I'm worried about the election. I mean, every single day I worry about the election. Like, no, here's, so here's where I'm worried now. I posted on my Instagram a fuck Trump, like a cute little fuck Trump photo. Love that. I was so shocked. I lost like 200 followers. Now, I don't care about losing the followers, but the fact that 200 people even want to vote for him to me is shocking the comments that i got on my instagram were very nasty like some of them being like i only follow you for your parents and to see that you're talking about politics is disgusting and you need to live for 24 20 more years before you even have an opinion i'm gonna unfollow like i'm I'm 27 i definitely have been alive long enough to know that i don't want to be someone who says grab him by the pussy and doesn't believe in climate change and um He's racist a thousand more th- racist sexist all of the is and the think weird of. thing in the comments is that they're all like prove that he's racist where has he been racist and i'm like if you can't even just blatantly see it in his tweets and the way that he is then i don't even ha- want to waste my breath to try to show it to you because these people also like aren't looking to listen they're just looking no, they, to, like make me listen. look bad yeah they don't listen and and even when presented, I've shared a shit ton of things that are like, here are exact instances in which Donald Trump has been sexist, racist, mm-hmm. xenophobic, all of yeah. the things. Yeah. And people still just like, don't want to listen to that. No, and they're, they're like, like you're you reading it wrong. This? You read it wrong. Oh you're taking God. from that what you want to see. Oh, yeah, because people are, ugh. yeah. No, it's, it's really, it's really a lot. And I, I do say, I do think like, very similar to 2016, I think a lot of people, I do think it is a little bit, I do think there are more people that are seeing his. But I feel, I mean, I saw, I I still don't, like, I'm still not confident at all. I'm just, I saw a video of a rally and there were just so, like, so many of them. And I'm just like, fuck. I know. Especially because, you know, like, we're in California. We know California's gonna go yeah, to Biden. Like, we know this. Yeah. But, you know, like, the important states, that's where it's really scary, you know, mm-hmm. because the Electoral College is fucked up. Yeah. But, I don't know. I really, like, I'm, I'm trying not to worry. I'm trying to control myself a little bit, because mm-hmm. it's stressing me out so much. I know. But I don't really see where you're coming from, because, I mean, I grew up in Missouri. Like, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, people are not even sneakily racist. They're just, like, especially white women. They're just, mm-hmm. 
they had like they glom onto one one important issue that they believe Trump is a champion for, and then they only think about that. Yeah, you know what I mean. And how anybody can look at him as a champion? I am. Um... I know people. Well, people like you know a lot of a lot of it's like religion based, which is bullshit. Because any person who is religious should recognize that he's not a religious man, and he oh. does not follow any tenets of any sort of religion like right. religion is supposedly about being kind and accepting and loving and blah 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 i'm like how can anyone yeah who is any sort of religious like even he's not a religious man like come on and i'm i'm not religious at all like i'm an atheist and i Same. just can't yeah Ooh, I, even I, I even i i'm like i can see where I just encourage yeah. everyone to go vote, and please, for the love of God, don't vote for Trump, because he's a piece no. of garbage. I just, uh, that's all I'll say. Yeah, I mean, we, could, we could talk about this for an hour. Like, I could, but see, it's just, it's going to be me like, being shocked. Oh, yeah, we could cut all this shit out. It would just be like, do not vote for him, you poo-poo head. <laughs> I'm not going to cut any of it out. And I'm sure tons of people, when they hear me start talking about it, they're going to turn off the podcast. But, like, I don't care. And for the people who told me that didn't your parents teach you that you're not supposed to talk about politics, my parents taught me to stand up for what I believe in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not at a dinner table with a bunch of people at Thanksgiving just throwing politics out there. It's my social media page. I'm going to post what I want to. And if you don't yeah. like it, just unfollow me. You don't need to attack me in the comments. People are like, exactly. you get so nasty. No, no. You come for me. So then I come back. Exactly. Like, I'm not just going to sit there and just also, like let you talk shit to me. And people, I just like, I hate the, I, I'm not political. Like, I don't talk politics. I'm like, that's because they don't affect you. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Like, that's not what. Like, oh, I don't get political. Like, I, I'll go on a dating app, and if somebody's little, like, on Bumble, they, it tells you if, what, yeah. uh, what, whatever they, they vote you know for. I mean. Yes. And when people say, like, apolitical, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, automatic. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there was you- a guy's profile last night that said, if you're one of those people that believes in COVID and wears masks and is actually washing their hands, this isn't going to work out. And I was like... <laughs> there's you so 24 problems. year old idiot there's so many problems with that statement but i'm also like just you should just wash your hands regardless of anything that's going of on corona or not sir or not. people should be washing their hands like oh man bumble is such an interesting place the oh, yeah. different types of guys that i talked to one guy recently um i, I was like my my question always friends or Seinfeld so mm-hmm. if it's a photo of me and that's not the question you get it's not me um and every single guy picks Seinfeld every fucking guy and like there's the really annoying ones who are like curb I'm like that's not that wasn't the question but thank new girl you. okay great you like great. Picked, I, you pass C that. but that's not A or I didn't B say sitcom I said friends or Seinfeld and then one guy was like, Seinfeld. And then like two weeks later, after not talking to me again, he was like, do you want cummies? Oh my. I just the most visceral reaction. My dog woke up. Did you see that? He just woke up because I'm of- so happy I was staring at your face. Your reaction to that was amazing. Because when I saw it, I was like, ooh. What goes through the mind of someone to say something like that? And who's calling like, it cummies? That's not that's cute. Horrendous. I mean, any version of that should not be said. <laughs> that's like baby talk that I don't want to be a part of. Like, I'm, I'm just, sure that he probably says to girls, like, do you want daddy to give you cummies? And I'm, ooh, I'm literally, like, unwell. Okay, and I'm, I will never kink shame anyone. But personally, I cannot handle that sentence being directed towards me. Also, you should not approach someone on a dating site with that until you guys have established 
dynamic. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, like there was one guy that I was talking to and I wish I had screenshots of it, but the way he did it was perfect. Like we had been talking for a moment and then uh, it, it, like I brought up like me looking like a naked mole rat without makeup on because that's what I think mm-hmm. it looks like. And I like sent a picture of one and then like somehow he spun it sexual and I thought it was hilarious. Of course he did. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, and I'm still talking to him. So he's, uh, he's. You gotta, you gotta be a little patient before yeah. you. You can't just come in hot with like um, the cummies in hot. Ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> like, and I'm not one to like kink shame, but where do you stand on the daddy situation? Do you call guys daddy? I do not, but I'm not like I'm very open. Like I, I'll try anything if I mean if that's genuinely something that is what works for my partner, then. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'll explore it, but it's not, like, my go-to. Got it. What's your go-to, like, let's say you have forgotten their name in the moment. What's your, like, go, do you, like, call them something? Is there a noise you make? Anything you do? I'm trying to think. I probably give, like, a good, like, yeah, like, a good porn star, like, you know, like, you like (laughs) I was watching a TikTok earlier of this guy, and he was like, it's so funny how when, like, you're in, like, during sex, and you're doing it, and you say stuff like, yeah, take that cock, and then, like, somebody, like, like, in the room starts laughing, and he goes, yeah, but when you say it like this, it's so funny. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, like, like, so the things that I say during sex, and then for me to say them on this podcast is so fucking hilarious. (laughs) Well, yeah, it's, it's funny because, like, if you are sexting someone. Oh, my God. And it's, like, going really well. The things they say, it's, oh, this is great. But if Mm -hmm. it's, like, not going well or if it's just out of the blue or if someone just says it and it's not the moment, it sounds absolutely horrible. Mm -hmm. And it makes me really comfortable. Yeah. I I know exactly what you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. But what do you – is there anything you say or do when you're, like, done and you just want them to come? I mean, it really depends on the person. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of encouragement. You got this, daddy. Good job, buddy. (laughs) So proud of you. I feel like you're almost there. (laughs) I'll, I'll, I'll like, I'll just be like, yeah, you did, you want to come on me now? And then they're like, yeah, I do. And I'm like, ah, sick. I can go eat pizza now. Yeah, like, there and get ca- came on or come on, get cummies came on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, just like some encouragement. Mhm, mhm. I don't. Know, I'm, I'm like a like a touch. I'm a little more reserved, like uh, vocally. Yeah. So you're not very loud in bed. No, I'm really not. Are you a silent, silent sexer? Not silent, but not super loud. Okay. Maybe so, I mean, like, that's just what it has been. I think it's, like, a lot of years of just, like, I don't know. So do I've you do been... the I'm gonna come announcement, or do you just, like, come? Yeah, or, like, they definitely, yeah, I'll say, like, getting close or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dep- it honestly depends. Like, like I, I said on our first um, episode together, or mm-hmm. our last episode together. I, I didn't remember, remember that. I can't. Sorry. I, I, have a, I have a pretty good memory. I have never had a long-term serious relationship. I know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know, like, what – I think a lot of it is, like, whoever you're with for a while. Yeah. Like, understands mm-hmm. you better. So for me, like, with the short-term kind of things – it's been, yeah, just, like, letting them know, or, because mm-hmm. I, I'm, like, it's, I want pleasure, I don't want, like, you need to take care of me, too. <laughs> yeah, I, the whole thing that, th- something I was thinking of, and I think I've already said this on a previous podcast, but I'll say it again, um, like, an instance with me, I had shower sex, right, Mm-hmm. there's literally no chance I'm going to come having yeah. shower sex. It's absolutely not awful. And we can try it's as much so as bad. possible. I'm it's standing, so I'm going to slip. It's wet. It's the opposite of what like I want. A fucking fancy ass millionaire's shower. 
Yeah, that I can lay down like, in. Then, or like no. with a bench or some shit. Like, yeah, not, not that was happen. not what I was dealing with at all. And so, like, he comes and whatever, right? And then, like, we get out, and basically, I'm just like left high and dry, you know. But Classic. here's the thing, and like he said, like, yeah, you know, sometimes it happens. I'm like, okay, but like. I'm not just gonna, like, blow you or have sex with you and then stop and be like, sometimes it happens. Like, why isn't there, we need to normalize, like, even if they've, like, come or came, I don't know what the proper word is for that, come? I think it's come. Like, I should still be able to. And it shouldn't be me going to the shower to do it by myself. Oh, absolutely. And that's, I mean, like, that is, like, harkens back to days of yore where, like, Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's still to this day, I mean, it's about men, like, and their pleasure. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. which doesn't make sense because they're the easiest ones to pleasure. So it's like we know, know. that you're going to come at the end of the day. So well, I why don't they definitely they don't they don't want I mean, I think it's they don't want they don't care. Hmm. You know? Well, some that of, needs to some change. Of them, some of them don't care. They're just like they want to chase their own pleasure. Right. And they, they don't Fuck like that. once they have it or even you know, they don't care. Yeah. Which no. is not the case for everyone. Of course. I'm not trying to generalize here, but some guys are gonna yeah. just care about themselves, and I don't want to take care of you. Yeah, but, like, let's normalize girls coming. Oh, <laughs> right? I feel like and, not enough girls are. And it's, like, I just would love guys to do, like, or anyone who's trying to make a girl come, I would love you to do just, like, one Google search. It is mm. really not that difficult to find information. Yeah. Um, the amount of, like, guys who don't know that only, like, 30% of women can come vaginally is insane to me. Yeah. I'm like, we literally, like, have a fucking button that you can press. Yeah. Like, it's, it's right there. Hard. It's not it's hard. It's not hard. It's really it not. It isn't. Also, we're, like, special. We can come, like, a lot. Yeah. Not like you. So there's time for, like mutually beneficial there's there's yeah. plenty of time for both yeah. of us to come yeah so i just don't that's why i'm like half the time the girls aren't coming and that's not fair yeah it's, so that's my opinion on fair. that make women come yeah make women come um now switching it over completely to god your drink looks so good i'll just have a sip of water but i want whatever the fuck that cold brew is it's very good Okay, your, your glass having bubbles in it. Isn't it cute? I got it at Target. Love it. I went to, I went to Target with my coupons. Mm-hmm. Because that's Where do you get Target thing. coupons? Oh, I just get, I get a mailer. It's not, they're not Target coupons, they're just coupons. Oh. Um, I get a mailer and then I just got mm. my coupon. Mm. Um, but I went to Target with my coupons. Mm-hmm. And I went to get laundry detergent. Yes. And magic erasers. Mm-hmm. Two things. Mm-hmm. Um, spent $112. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I put back like seven things. Yep. I do this target where I fill up the cart mm-hmm. and then I get closer and closer to checkout. And I'm like, well, I should put this back. I should put this back. <laughs> and like seven things leave the cart and I still spend it. Anyway, these were only $1.99. They're like hard plastic, which I That's usually- a good deal though. I usually don't buy like hard plastic, but I do like them for coffee. And got I got it. these glass straws, which I have a Ooh. bunch of stainless steel straws. I have like 30 stainless steel straws because I cannot drink a drink without a straw. Got you. And I don't want to buy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I just I really started like- with this rubber straw situation. I don't know how I feel about it. Rubber? Yeah. Or like silicone? Silicone. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's like, I don't know, one of these. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. But Those it, are, um. Okay. It's, it's really big in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it is. It's like really big. Okay, but I wasn't trying to switch the topic to cups. I was trying, <laughs> which is something Phoebe was in charge of at one point during Friends, Cups and Ice at a birthday party. Um, I, I was. 
thinking like originally we were just going to rate the guys on mm-hmm. friends which we will do but then i found a list of all of rachel's boyfriends and monica's and phoebe's so i figured we should discuss yeah. those as well yeah. let's and I have said list in front of me as well so that beautiful can... beautiful um let's discuss the guys though yes. like ross chandler joey and i also think we should decide i would like to know your opinion on your favorite significant other in the series for each person. You told me that yesterday. You can think about it as we talk about them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, first- wait, so my favorite significant other for that person, yeah. but not the one they ended up with, right? Like well, excluding it them? It can be, but as we, as we go down the list of these men, okay, we can... I'm just curious to know your preferences mm-hmm. about okay. faves, faves, and least okay. faves, of course. Okay. Let's, oh, sorry. Let's discuss the guys overall. Sure. Yes. So out of the guys, who would you date? Ross, Chandler, Joey. That's all of them, right? I mean, yes. I mean, like, I don't really want to date any of them. <laughs> but you have to fuck Mary Kill. I know. Fuck, oh, are we fuck Mary and Kill them? Sure, why not? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> like, okay, great, but I still don't know. Okay, I'll go first. My issue with Ross is that he many is whiny. With- huh? I have many issues with Ross. He's just, he's whiny. He has trust Self- issues. Trust issues. But I mean, with good reason. Somebody that he loved and trusted and wanted to spend the rest of his life with that he was trying with left him yeah that's so true. he was afraid that that was going to happen with every other partner but the way that shit went down with him and rachel and mark like that whole situation yeah. was not cute i think ross i think all of them but i do think ross really would have benefited from a therapist definitely for these issues mm-hmm. but well, he I was agree. at one point sent to one a psychiatrist because I'm of his sandwich angry. yelling yes yeah but they just like doped him up like you know what i mean like that's, that's true it was a joke um, more so i mean yes that's this is true but <laughs> the whole show is so <laughs> this is not real life okay? but a point i would like to make though is that ross was right oh i agree i do think they were on a break no, no, no. Ross, just pointing with my Apple Pencil, Ross was right about Mark. Mark did oh, want to yeah. fuck her. Mark, of course, yeah. Now, we have been proven and shown that even when she tried to date him, she didn't even want to have sex with Mark, and she yeah. wouldn't have had sex with Mark if she was with no. Ross. But the issue was that he didn't trust her, and that's where yeah. everything really spiraled mm-hmm. and fell apart. But- she kept saying, like, no, he's just my work friend. He just helped me get a job. Like, no, yeah. of course he wants to have sex with her. Yeah. Um, Chandler is great, but he, I would strangle him after two years of marriage. Just with oh, jokes God. and just all of it. I just, I can't. His big shirts, <laughs> I don't like them. Joey is more my type. Uh, romantically yeah. unavailable, would break <laughs> my heart, um, very attractive, probably has a big dick, um, is known to please on the show. Yeah. So I would probably marry Joey, fuck Joey. You can't fuck and marry Joey. And just kill the others. <laughs> You can't do that. You have to pick one to fuck. You just said that I couldn't kill all of them. You need to well, pick one. This is difficult because I don't want to have sex with Ross or Chandler. Well, you have to pick one. Okay. Sorry. So, all right. I'll I tell you mine. I've decided. I'll marry Joey. I'll, I guess I'll have sex with Ross because I feel yeah, like he won't be like making jokes or like pulling like clown stuff out like flowers out of a hat you know during the middle of it yeah Yeah. maybe that all that like work with bones will come in handy with his bone i tried to make a joke and it didn't work so just 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 never happened i didn't hear 
I have to put this down. It's like my wand. I know you're really Lumos. <laughs> okay. Pointing, man. I could also use my um my vape pen. <laughs> Ooh, two wands. I'll hit it. Do you smoke weed? Yeah. Hmm. Did we smoke weed together? No. Yes, okay. we did. We did? On our walk. Remember? Remember, Remember when we went to 70 different restaurants that were weird and one of them smelled so bad that we had to leave? We had to horrendous. leave. It smelled so, and I thought I was just being crazy. No, it smelled horrendous in there. You were staying in like Silver Lake or something, which is like known yeah. to have like the cutest whatevers and this yeah, and that. They, yeah. It was so I figured so we were just going to like. Uh, no, it was horrendous. So I think like, we were just gonna walk and find something cute, and it was, uh, it was like two hours. We were just really indecisive. <laughs> Very much so. Okay, you go. Okay. <sighs> this is hard. It's so hard. I hated it. I hate that no. I asked it, because then I had to well, answer it. The problem is, I don't want to marry any of them. I don't either. I just want to put that out there, like, this is a force. <laughs> scenario on me um I think I would I think I would kill Chandler okay I don't know I might marry Chandler hmm interesting he went from killing her. to marrying really quick I know um I will say like for a second I was like I just don't think he'd be up to snuff in the bedroom department but then mm. I was thinking about that episode in which Monica and Rachel teach him how to mm -hmm. go down on a girl that's so true. I do think he has gotten some knowledge over the over the years yes um so i think i would marry chandler mm -hmm. not just for that but because i think he is the one for his who is, pussy eating skills that's it end of list um i do think that we would we our personalities would go together okay okay, okay. i would fuck joey obviously and i would kill ross got it Okay. Okay. I mean, it's still like, I'm still like not happy with these choices, but. I understand. I get it. I feel you. Um, let's move on to talking about the gals' boyfriends. Let's start with Phoebe. Phoebe. I feel. Um, I was I think, very. What? I think, I think her list, I was thinking about this earlier. I was looking at my list of their significant others. Mm -hmm. And I do think Phoebe's list is my favorite. Why? I think she, I think she has the biggest, the best roster of good people, good men. Um, some of them are not great, but I do think she has a good, she has like a good, a stack bench of men. She also has a lot of celebrities. Yeah. That were. She got, yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. And I think she, she only has like, I ranked them. I wrote down my rankings for them. Oh, oh shit. You don't have to do that. But I'm just like, I just did this for my, my own brain. Yep. But I dream there was only like I have sixteen men written down for her. I know there's more, but like these were like the people who talked in the series, and there's like I only six have eleven. Of them. See, I mean, I think I just went I went ham on these lists. Okay, I so like seven or eight of them that are pretty good. Who is your least favorite? Um. Well, there's that one guy who she just had, like, one date with who wrote erotica for children. Oh, my God. That shit is... Oh God. And he was like, oh, I have a PhD, a pretty huge, and then people I was like, no. I laugh pretty hard, though, because the way That's that that actor acts is incredible. Very good. It's very really good. inappropriate. The jokes are oh, awful. Yeah. Oh, but, cool. like, I laugh my ass off. <laughs> Yeah, his name was Jim, so I do think he was terrible. I don't have him. I didn't even... That's great. And what a nice I pull. I fucking hate um, Gary, the cop. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Well, like, I mean, first off, he's a clop, cop. He's yeah. a clop. He's a cop. <laughs> Second off, he fucking shoots a bird out his window. Out her that's window. not a very weird way to end that storyline, though, just in itself. Like, they could have picked anything, and th what they picked is that he's gonna shoot a bird. Also, I don't think Phoebe, like, I think it's out of character for Phoebe to date a cop. I'm sorry. Just with her background, and mm -hmm. I just don't think she would date a cop. Sorry. Mm. Um, and yeah, he, I mean, like, I don't like guns, first of all. Same. And I'm also like, if your gun is just chilling next to you in bed, and you just shoot a fucking bird. Hold up, on, like, sweetie. Hold <sighs> on, sweetie. This bird is chirping as a, 
it does. Like, listen, is its purpose in life. I it's hate an early stupid. morning bird too, but I'm I, not going to fucking kill it. I do not like birds at all. I saw birds, the birds, when I was like five or four. That's too and young. Me up for life. I don't yeah. like birds. I'm scared of birds, mm-hmm. but I don't kill birds. Yeah, no. I'm just like, hello, sir. Go about yeah. your day. I'm not yep. a part of this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Shoot a bird out my window. Mm-mm. No. But anyway, I think he, he and Jim are the worst. Okay. In my opinion. Yeah. Who's and your I favorite? Didn't... Oh, you didn't like who? I also didn't like, um, the, oh, um, Eric, played by Sean Penn, who was. Why? Because he was just like, I didn't like that pairing because he was so mad at Ursula, and then he yes. didn't like it. So I didn't like him for that, and I also did not like Malcolm, who was played by David Arquette. Oh, yeah, because that he, was weird. Because he stalked Ursula. I'm just like, I'm not going to date yeah. a stalker. No. Those the my- reason I love the Sean Penn is because mm-hmm. the Blursula comment makes me laugh so much when he takes off his glasses to try to help when he's making out with her and then he says you're Ursula but blurry you're Blursula I don't know why but it fucking cries me up that's so cute honestly because that is a really stupid joke (laughs) but I love that you like it so much but I'm the same way there's like dumbass shit that I laugh at every time no matter like no matter what I write that is is erotica. It's wildly, I'm, uh, it, uh, what is it? It's, it's wildly, wildly inappropriate. Did he say inappropriate? I don't remember. He says something that makes me laugh. I can't remember it now. Um, oh, I think he says like wildly unpopular or something. That's what it is. It's yeah. wildly unpopular. Like, that's so funny. Like, no shit. And one of Phoebe's songs that um really, really gets me is it wasn't just that she was fat. The woman smelled like garbage. Everybody, when she sings outside of Monica's restaurant in oh, her yeah. fancy dress, I fucking lose my shit at that song. It's so inappropriate and so hilarious. I like um, it's Bojack. not that it wasn't just that she was fat. The woman smelled like garbage. I my favorite Phoebe song is Little Black Curly Hair. Little black curly hair. Little black, little black, little. Little black, little black, little black, little black curly hair. I very much enjoy the Phoebe song. I know a lot of people find it very annoying. Um, I wish I had a list of all of them in front of me, but some of them are really annoying, yes. Mm. But some of them are very good. Yeah. They're I really not good, like they're just entertaining to me. The ones that she sings like when she's trying to get into Chandler and Monica's wedding is like the one who was sing who's singing. And uh those songs crack me up. So good. Yeah, so good. Um who is your favorite? Uh, my favorite is Mike. That's, yeah, that is the, like, one of the correct Mm -hmm. rankings, in my opinion. Like, the general consensus is that he's the best, and I agree with that consensus, because he is. He's the best. He he is. He accepts her for who she is, and he loves her because she's wonderfully weird, which is so Mm -hmm. cute. Yeah. And I love their dynamic, and I think they're a great couple. Yes, I very much enjoy him on the show. Like, I like the crew. There's like a shoe for every foot kind of relationship, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to date Paul Rudd, crap bag. I, we all do. We yeah. all want to date Paul Rudd. I met Paul Rudd once. How was it? I mean, great. He's so handsome. Where was he? What was happening? It was after a play. Okay. It was, um, I saw a play <laughs> <laughs> when I lived in New York. I saw a play. Actually, it was before I went to New York. Anyway, he was in a play with Got it. Um, some people. <laughs> Michael Shannon. I was going to just, like, list all of them. So, Michael Shannon. Yeah. Who's a very good actor. And Ed Asner, who played Santa in Elf. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember the woman who was in it. Um, anyway, I met. we met them at the stage door, and I was in front. Mm-hmm. And there's a fo- I have a photo of me, my dad, and Paul Rudd. It's very good because he's smiling so cutely. Like he looks 
actually happy to be meeting incredible a person mm -hmm. and i i i posted that photo a couple times on my instagram just because it makes me happy i always crop yeah. out my dad <laughs> like tbt to that time i met paul sorry, rudd dad. crop sorry crop do you side note back to bumble really quick if a guy has if they posted a photo in their whatever photos of them with a celebrity i instantly mm -hmm. swipe left yeah because like what are you trying to do impress me that you've met somebody that's famous yeah what i don't like it, I, don't like it. No. I, have a I have a bunch of photos with celebrities because i i've worked on a couple of tv shows mm -hmm. and they're not anywhere on any of my profiles yeah because like I, someone's wiping right on me because i've met michael strahan you know what i mean yeah like, no. not not the vibe where, like if i met lady gaga i would definitely post it everywhere but it wouldn't oh, be my yeah. bumble like, profile i posted some of my photos i met yeah with celebs but yeah gotcha. not on my yeah, no, it's one of my, it's one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, I agree with the Mike situation. I definitely, uh, don't like David. And I know that, like, he's in the beginning and yeah. whatever, and, like, we're supposed to, like, have, like, so, like, a soft spot for him, but, like, I just fucking don't. I, I, I like him just fine. He's not my favorite. Um, mm -hmm. I have, like, a, I, for a long time, had a crush on Hank Azaria, so... Okay that like so you're just wet while watching you're like ah stop it um no i just liked his look i thought he was very handsome mm -hmm. um uh, i liked the scientist vibe yeah he's good in the beginning but then when it's yeah, up against like his, him yeah, and when you compare him to yeah. mike it's, it's a no it's, there, there's no competition there it's uh, a buy so, you gotta go yeah mm -hmm. yeah and i and i did like um i liked that storyline with the firefighter and the kindergarten the, teacher. Yes, so did I. Um, but I did like the firefighter more because Same. he didn't judge he didn't judge her for sleeping with the kindergarten teacher. He just didn't want her to have an open fire flame in a wooded area, which I agree with. I love that. That's yeah. Uh, as annoying as he was, really liked oh, yeah. Parker. Alec Baldwin. Oh, yes. He, that episode. Why, he's not, like, I don't know why. Like, people put him really low in rankings, which is dumb to me, because they put, like, Gary the Cop higher, and they put... Um, I think they're doing that based on who they like in life. Because I feel like Alec Baldwin gets a bad rap because he, like, yelled at his, like, 15-year-old daughter over that voicemail, and it was, like, really bad. He was, like, 11. It wasn't cute. No, it was um, really, I mean, he's, like... Yeah, he's not great. Yeah, he's not great. But that character, character, like him yes. when she's talking about the dog and he says like bow wow old friend, bow wow. And then just like him at that anniversary party, it's so he's just, good. He's so enthusiastic. Yes. I do think that would really wear on me. Oh god. But, but I but I don't put him too super low on my personal rankings. I really uh, liked that. I liked him a lot. I liked um, I liked Charlie Sheen's character. Yes. Ryan, because yeah. very handsome mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. um, and he seemed like his, her fun hookup whenever he yeah. was in the city. That's so fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I liked, oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, the guy who schedules performances for the libraries. You know those episodes where she wears that moose sweater? <laughs> I'm trying to put this in context. It's like a very, she, he schedules her to, to perform for the kids in the library and she sings inappropriate songs. Yes. What's but his he, name? Uh, Rob. Rob. Yes. Rob. And he was, he was super cute and seemed like, like a really interesting career and just like a, yeah. a good guy. Until she uh, ruined that. She ruined that. Yeah, we'll so I liked see. him as well. Yeah. I like him too. Yeah. Um, and I also, I liked the storyline of Robert, the one where his dick was always out of his shorts. Yes. Really enjoyed him. And like, uh, I, whoever hums while he pees is, I think that's Jake, the guy who would wear women's underwear. Yeah, I liked him too. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Very judgmental group of friends. That show has its moments where I'm like, oh, 
yikes. Oh, absolutely it does. Yeah. Let's move on to Monica. Okay, Monica has some okay guys, too. Who is your favorite? I mean, I really like Richard. So do I. I fucking love I, Richard. I, I am, like, I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy with Chandler Monica, but it's not like, you watch certain shows and you're like, wow, what a perfect, like, I love this pairing. Like, if you watch Parks and Rec yeah. and Leslie and Ben, it's like the best. Like, I love seeing their relationship. Mm-hmm. Chandler and Monica, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. I'm never going to be unhappy with Chandler. And I do think... Obviously, they needed to be together for the show to work. Like, I liked how it all ended up. Yeah. But I do think Richard is just the greatest. I think he is. I do, too. I love him so much. He just, he's so handsome. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got his life together. He's a little bit older. Together, a little bit older. Yep. A lot of bit older. Um <laughs> Does that bother you? Would you date somebody that much older? I don't think I would, no. I mean, I have a, um, I think certain, I think the age difference conversation is very interesting. And I do think like, if you're like, Monica was like 30 when she dated him. I do think that's a different, like that's a different age difference than say if she was like 22 and dating him. Right. Because right. like, he's more established in her life. Yeah. My I don't personal think- rule is if you're not old like, if you're not old enough to be my dad, then fine. Sure. Like, yeah. if you if you couldn't have had me, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't like that, like, he's friends with her dad. That part is a, no. That's uncomfortable. Um, I do think, like, it makes sense that why they didn't work out. But I, I cry do. every time when they're and at like, that wedding and they're, or that anniversary party yeah. and, like, they know that it's not going to work out. And, like, I've been in those situations where, like, you know it's not going to work out, but you still yeah. really want to be with them. And like, then he, I, she loved him so, like, her so much. heart break over him. She loved him so much. But you can't get past, like, the, the kids thing. Like, that's a – No, that's a big yeah. one. And – Another thing that I, one of the episodes I watch a lot is the one with the jam, where she's making a lot of jam oh, to yeah. get out of the man, because she, like, she, like, goes down to the docks to get yeah. the get fruit her. and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes. the episode where Joey has his arm in a sling from jumping on the bed too much. Yes, and he gets the jam all over his face. Yes. I put, I and before. his arm was actually broken. They oh, had yeah, to so break that into the script. Love that fun fact. Luke? Is he, is he dreaming? Stop. Stop. It's so precious. Oh my god, sweetie. What's he dreaming about? What do you think he's dreaming about? I love it so much. He oh does. my god. He's ridiculous. I love it so much. Okay, so love Richard. I also very much like uh, the fun Bobby yeah. storyline. I don't fun like Bobby. fun Bobby, really, but I like the storyline. Yeah, good storyline, unfortunate circumstances. I also... Yes, but then the fact that he gets sober and she can't handle him sober, so then she's taking all of those, like, tiny liquor bottles on the vacation and he's like, no, we can't. Yeah, which makes sense. Like, you should not be with her. Um, (laughs) Also, don't mind Pete. Um, That... (sighs) I kind of... I really do like that storyline because... It's really interesting, and she he's, learns an, he's annoying. He's annoying. Yeah, he's not. He's not my favorite, but he's not like bad. Some of them are bad. Who's bad? Like Paul the wine guy is bad. Which one's Paul the wine guy? He's all oh, the one that he, he tricks, tricks her, her into thinking he's impotent, and then mm. to sleep with her, which is so fucked up. Yeah. Um, and also Julio, the empty writes, vase, empty vase. Um, he's bad. He is he's bad. bad. He's very bad. And Ethan's not great. The high schooler? Yeah, that's fucked up. It's not that's great. Horrible. That's horrible. That is very icky. Chip Matthews from uh, high school. Very definitely bad. not good. Mm-hmm. Yes. She's got some, she's got some, I do yeah. think, like, Chandler and Richard are kind of the only good. That's true. Good the men. Bob, the Bob storyline is good with Oh, um, yes, with the Joey. Tape. Yeah, where... The, yeah. 
How do you even describe Joey, this? Joey has Monica go on a double date with him. Yes. Because he's trying to win back his old flame. But she's yes. dating this guy, Bob. Mm-hmm. But Joey tells Monica that they're siblings <laughs> in order to get her on the date. And she, like, is obviously being very flirty and yeah. not flirty with him. And she's like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's very incredible. Good, very good. It's very, very good. Um, and then there was also Alan. Oh, yeah. That, that who, everybody loved. But she hated. But she hated. Yeah. So. With, can't get, oh, and um, we can't forget Richard's son. Uh, Tim, Timothy. Timothy, played by Michael Varton, who is a dream boy. Dream boy? Ooh. Dream <laughs> boat? Dream boy? Dream boy? <laughs> who is that? Weird. I've never heard of him. Um, he was on that show, Alias, which is one of my favorite shows. Oh, I remember that. I don't, very, remember, I don't know what it's about, but I remember it. He's a very attractive, like, very hot on that show. Um, I like him a lot. He was also in the movie Never Been Kissed. Love that movie. Which we should discuss on my podcast. Yes, please. I fucking I have, love that know. movie. And that's a rom-com. Yes. I would love it. Yet. I'd love it. And that movie has so much to fucking talk about. Because it is kiss, so kiss, fun. Kiss, kiss. Yeah. Yes. So, love Michael Varton, but mm-hmm. that was... Obviously, that was not going to work. You can't No. Be, no. That's creepy. You can't be your ex-boyfriend's son. It's not a good moment for anyone. It is it. not a good moment for anyone. Um, I'm very yeah. excited to talk about Rachel's List. Rachel's List Rachel's, is horrible. She's my girl. I fucking love her. Um, who would you say is the worst? Um... I think it's a tie between Ben Stiller's character, Tommy. That was going to be mine. Who yeah. streamer, and Paolo, who huh. came on to Phoebe. I would say it's Tommy or Paolo, but it's between Tommy and Paolo versus Barry. Oh, yeah, Barry sucks. Like, that whole thing where Mindy... The whole yeah. Mindy Berry thing, like, where they they were cheating the whole time. Yeah. Why can't That's I form a sentence? What's, ha- what's happening? I don't know. We both cannot talk, which is good. Um, if you've made it this far along in the podcast, thanks for staying with us, you guys. If you made it past yes, the politics and the if long you made it pauses. <laughs> now we're just delving into... We're just that trying way. to get by. Um, um, yeah, who knows if this episode will turn out. Good. It's it's it, it's good because we're in it together. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be back. I'll be back for a third. Third time is a charm. Perfect. It'll be like a perfect episode. It's perfect. It is. Okay, good. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I really like just because it's funny the Russ situation played by Ross. I hate that shit so much. Why? I, I just I don't it, like. It didn't take for you. Not not for me. I don't like. I have a weird thing about people from the same cast playing different characters on the same show. Why? I don't, I just, like, I only want them to be, unless they're playing a twin, I only want them to be themselves. I don't want them to be, like, a weird side character where I obviously know it's you playing them. Mm-hmm. It takes me out of it for some reason. I just don't like it. Okay. All right. I no preference. Yep. Like, I, I don't know if you saw... Did you watch Gilmore Girls? No. Okay, so anyway, in the revival, mm-hmm. one of the side characters, who's just one of, like, the crazy townspeople, she plays a maid as well, like a mm-hmm. new character. And we yeah. can... We obviously know it's the same actress. Yeah. And I hate it so much. It's a so pet that's peeve. like what I'm talking about. Pet yeah. peeve. It's a pet peeve. I like Paul Stevens. Bruce Willis. Elizabeth's daughter. Um, yeah. <laughs> no. Elizabeth's, Elizabeth's dad, daughter. excuse me. Dad. Um, very much like that. He lost a bet and did that. He didn't get paid to be on the show. Well, you know good for him. I just think that that's funny. I can't remember who the bet was with. I meant to look up the I entire story. 
reading about that. Yeah, I meant to look up the story, but just Google it, you guys. Sorry that I'm a terrible podcast host. Um, I, I, I don't know if I like the tag situation or not. I don't mind it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, when you think about it, she, he's 24 and she's 29. That's Luke. not... I can see the dog. He's awake. Hey, honey. <laughs> oh, my God. Getting down. He's going to his crate. <laughs> Too cute. Um, when you think about it, he's 24 and she's 29, mm-hmm. which is not a, not a crazy age difference. I remember when I initially watched it, I was like, oh, my God. He's so young for her. Right. And then now, like, mm, she's, he's really not that young for her. I do think they're, like, at way different points in their life. And I understand. Right. Why I understand why she out. broke up with him, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I don't think that's, like, a realistic. Mm-hmm. I think it's a really smart, like, I don't, I don't think I could. If I was 29, I, I don't think I could date a 24-year-old. I don't um, even want to date a 24-year-old, and I'm 27. Well, I don't, I'm 26, and I don't want to date a 24-year-old. Exactly. Not gonna yeah, no. Um, so I totally get it, but I just remember back when I initially watched it, I thought the age difference was so much bigger. So big. Like, yeah. Um, and also, he just, like, didn't get her. No. It was just about him being cute for her. Yes. Which is valid, but mm-hmm. not my fave, but I also don't think he was the worst. Yeah. Did you sorry. like Gavin? I liked Gavin. He's I really hot. Liked- Dermot Mulroney is, like, my favorite love interest on does, any show. Does he play a lot of them? Yeah. He was on New Girl. He was a love interest. Um, I'm sure he's been in other things. I just like him a I lot. I think he was on Desperate Housewives for a second, too. I don't remember. Maybe. Or maybe it was New Girl, because I am re-watching New Girl. Yeah. He was her fancy man. Um, so I really like Dermot Mulroney. Mm-hmm. And I did like Gavin. I thought they had a, a good dynamic. Like, I do think... Like, they bounced off of each other in a good yeah. way. Yeah. Um, I liked him, Obviously, too. that was not going to work out, but... No. I liked him so, so much more than I liked, like, Mark or Joshua. Well, fucking... I like the whole, like, Joshua. I love the way that she says his name. Like, the way that she acts towards him. And then the I craziness know. with the wedding dress. It's, yes. And it's I love, comical. Like, it's funny. And the party... It, yes. I do think, like... Rachel doesn't have as many, like, moments to be super funny, Mm -hmm. and I think that was a really, like, funny storyline for her. Yeah, definitely. Um, And I, one of my favorite moments ever is when (laughs) she wears lingerie to dinner, and she's she's retelling the story. She's like, and my boob popped out. And my boob popped out. She's like, don't worry, I got nice boobs. That's, like, my fucking favorite. Like, her delivery on that is (sighs) very excellent. One of my favorite... Rachel lines is when she's in class with Phoebe and she's late and she mm-hmm. sits down and she says, sorry, I'm late. I left late. It's fucking hilarious. Like as well. That's fu- yeah. That's, that is great. That's, oh, yeah. that's comical. And I like when she says gal pal, Rachel green. Gal pal, Rachel green. Yeah, yeah. I like that as well. Love that. Love that. Yeah. But, um, I definitely I, hate I, Mark. I think I the consensus is everybody fucking hates Mark. He's just, I mean, like, and he's an obstacle for the Ross R- Rachel thing. Yeah. Which, which people don't like. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think that they were ready to be together at that time anyway. No, I, I agree. think that if they were to try again after Emma and like at the end of the season, like that would have been better for them. But at that time in their life, he hadn't yeah. gone through enough to like he was be not, able to I mean, be he who she needed. Yeah. He was, it was not good. There was a lot of, jealousy. Yeah, he was not in a good, he shouldn't have been dating her then. Um, I also yeah. didn't like Danny, the Yeti. Yeah. yeah. He just didn't really, he wasn't really interested in her, but that's probably because he was in love with the sister. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like him. Um, that storyline was interesting. What are your thoughts on Joey and Rachel? Um, okay. It's interesting. I don't hate it. I don't either. I watched the Barbados episode, the part one and part two, a lot. Like, that's an anxiety watch for me. Like, if I'm having a really bad day, like, I'll throw those on. Like, they make Mm -hmm. me feel very comforted. I love those. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's, like, at the, like, when they kind of start, like, hooking up and whatever. 
I think that a lot of the funniest Ross moments comes from their relationship, the I'm fine stuff, the margarita, yeah. him burning his hands and taking his clothes yeah. off and dancing to show music. <laughs> mm-hmm. All of that Very is good. so amazing. And we wouldn't have gotten that without them having been yeah. together. Um, also, I feel like they would have been good together if they had actually dated. They just didn't find each other sexually attractive in the end. Yeah. The fuck, her slapping the shit out of him when they're making out, it's so funny to me. I love a slapstick slap mo. I mean, she literally slaps the shit out of him, and it's really so funny. And it, I, I get like, I don't, I like it. I don't hate it. Yeah, I, I do hate the fake proposal. Situation. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Um, it's like understandable, I, I but in the yeah, moment, he would have been like, "No, this isn't what's happening." Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm not. I don't hate the Joey storyline. I mean, it definitely. It definitely feels kind of weird. Yeah. Um, but also, like, they address that. Like, they're like, this is weird. Rachel and Joey say that. Yeah. So I think it's kind of an interesting what place to go for their characters. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's not my fa- Some people put, like, Joey high up in the list of... Uh, Rachel's boyfriends. Ranking. I mean, I like, like him... Yeah, I, th- I mean, like, we all like Joey, so it makes sense that he'd be A higher. lot of people think that they should have ended up together and not Ross and Rachel. I do think that Joey and Rachel have a lot in common, mm-hmm. and, like, they work together really well. Mm-hmm. So I can see that, you know? But If you had to pick somebody for her to be with other than Ross or Joey, who would Ross you pick? Yeah. Yeah. Gavin, for sure. Gavin is pretty good. Gavin He's is good. good. And I just like that they're both kind of similar places in their career and kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, and we didn't really get to explore that. I know. It was, yeah. It was just like. It was abrupt. Yeah. It just didn't work. But I think it would have been. I think it could have been really good. I like yeah, them. Together. I definitely agree with that. What a fan. I didn't hate Joshua. I didn't hate him but i just meh for you he's just meh he's just i meh. like the the rachel greep thing where he invites her out to the club and that's the night that emily comes into town you and um she's supposed to go out with her but he's like no come to this club thing that i'm doing and she shows up and i guess like he wrote her name down as rachel greep not Rachel Green, oh, and she's what? like, I said Rachel Green, and I wasn't on the list, and then some girl behind me was like, I'm Rachel Green, I'm Rachel Green, and then she went in, and then she got into a fight with a woman behind her. It's oh, hilarious. Yeah. I love yeah. that, so. I always forget about that. That's mm, good. That's a, that's a pretty good moment. I do very much like that. I liked going over the relationships. We, we should do. do that with the guys on a different, we, on, a, on part should, three. Part three. We should do that with the guys, because I think there's some interesting ladies do you yeah there definitely are do you watch a lot of friends um no i really don't not anymore um sometimes like there are certain episodes that i do like to watch like you said like comfort Mm -hmm. what would be what would be your like your comfort episode my favorite one of my favorite episodes is um the thanksgiving episode with where no Everyone loves that one, and I don't for some reason. It's fine. Um, I don't love it. Um, it's just not good at sitcom acting, in my opinion, and it comes off as fake acting, you know? Yeah. Like, he's it, acting like he's acting. Yeah. Um, it's hot. The, thanks, yeah. the Thanksgiving episode where they confess everything. Mm-hmm. With the trifle. I love mm-hmm. that episode. I really like that episode. Um, that's one of my faves. This year for Thanksgiving time, I'm going to do a vlog where I make Rachel Green's trifle. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I love that! But not with actual like it's it's edible. It's not with not actual with the beef. Pe- not peas with the beef and, and onion. beef and carrots. Yummy! Oh my god! But whatever she, I've never heard of a trifle. But whatever the fuck that is that she's supposed to be making sounds really good. No, it sounds like a really extra fancy parfait. It's like a, it's like a, what the fuck's a lady finger? 
It's a little, it's a little cookie. It's like a soft little cookie like this. Is, <laughs> like this. Is it good? Is it, what is it? Can you compare it to a cookie that I may have tasted? Um, I'm trying to think of a good comparison. So like a lady finger would be. A lady's finger. My little old lady hands. So they're like, um, spongy. Hmm. Like an angel food cake? Sort of, but they're smaller. <laughs> they're I'm not just as, gonna need to try they're not one. Not as fluffy as a. Are they good or tasteless? They're good. They're fine. Fine. That's not a good I mean, description for a cookie. So it needs to be supported no, no, no. with other flavors. It's it's more cake like, and you. The thing is with lady fingers, they are more. They're many, they're not like a solo dessert, really. So you dip them in something usually, or you lather them in something. They're usually for like a trifle or a, um, a Charlotte, which is sort of a trifle as well. Who's Charlotte and what's she doing in my dessert? A Charlotte is a, I'm trying to describe this <laughs> Like we, we've a, lost our minds. We can't speak today. It's a Charlotte is, <laughs> it's filled. It's like, it's like this. It's like a, <laughs> it's, like a it's filled with <laughs> custard or fruit. It's kind of like the outside. Oh, 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 I got it. Sorry. I remember what people also call it. They call it an icebox cake because the ladyfinger acts as an ice box, and inside is the chocolate fruit, whatever you want it to be. Okay. So a ladyfinger is essentially used as the main ingredient in trifles, sometimes tiramisu. Oh, um, okay. Which I yeah. hate. I don't like tiramisu either. And I am somehow an expert on ladyfingers at this point. Uh, mm. I'm glad we just spent like Miss Lady Finger. I mean, I asked the question, so I have a, I have um <laughs> I'm very good at trivia. Fun fact about me. Really? I'm very good at trivia because I have a lot of knowledge about mm, somewhat useless things. Tell me the most useless thing you know. No, it's not like useless. It's like shit that only matters if you're playing trivia games. Okay. So like pop culture, celebrities, mm. music, not not that music is useless knowledge but like that I know what you mean I, though like I that you know, like I know the name of every actor I can name got like, it yeah I know we went through that list and I was like who yeah I know the actors I know like that's just that's how my that's amazing though what my brain retains but then there's things like geography and I'm like nope mm, mm -mm, nope same. no idea yeah, yeah I really need to learn some things clearly I could use a class or two I really should do some learning. I could do me some learning. I could do I that. really could. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna either. <laughs> I ain't gonna have no learning. Get back on TikTok, do what I do best, and scroll away. Um, where can everybody find you? They can find me. They can find me on Instagram at every friend's outfit. Or if you wanna follow me personally, you totally can. It's linked in my other Instagram bio, but it's at Emily the Perry. It's just my dog, mostly. So it's a really great Instagram. Thrilling. I love it. Really thrilling. Um, if you want to follow me, you can follow me everywhere at Little Baby Kate. I just started vlogging. Like I'm a YouTuber, I guess. Now I don't know what the fuck I think it's I'm YouTuber. doing. Um, but I did my first Lush haul and it was really fun. And I think the opening is really fun. Like I watched it like 50 times. I was like, this is so fun. Look at I me. I admire your own handiwork. It, it's great. It's like when you watch your own Instagram story a bunch. You know what I mean? Like oh, yeah. most of the views on my YouTube video are probably myself refreshing. You're like, oh my God, opening. 30 views. They're it's all, all me in one hour. Um, but you should go check that out. If you want extra content, if you want podcasts early, you want videos early, go ahead and join my Patreon, patreon.com slash littlebabykates. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, I'm just a talk. Cool. I was zoning out a little bit. Um, well, I was giving quite the spiel, so. No, 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 I, I like the spiel. I'm. 
It's like I snort a line of coke, and then I'm like, my name is Katie Thompson. You can follow me here, and then you can just. That's something I noticed when I was watching the vlog back. It's as if I took one deep breath before I did the show and didn't breathe the didn't entire breathe the opening is like hey welcome into my vlog I'm Katie if you haven't been here before I'm Katie Thompson if you have welcome back oh my god we're gonna go right into the bath bombs the first one I took a bath last night and it's this and I'm like Jesus also bless you for taking a bath in this weather um well with the windows closed in the air at 71 like, yeah that's true you you're know? We- okay but you're weird like you LA people like everyone in LA has their air on like 72 and they think that's cool and that's incorrect. What's cool? Like 66, 65. If it were to be 65 in here, I would be like Rachel on the set of Friends and my nipples would be hard at every moment of the day. I'd I'd be freezing. I... What is your set to? Like 64. What is your air bill like? It's not bad at all. I just have one window unit. It's my bedroom, and I only okay. have I only have it on at night. Like, I need a very cold bedroom at night. That's my thing, too. It's like I sleep but, with the air on and a fan on. Yeah. Yeah. So I, need the, I need the air on really cold at night, because I like Got to wear to bed, mm-hmm. but then during the day, I don't have it on. So my, my uh, electric bill is pretty low. Hmm. Well, that's good, then. But yeah, that is, that is very chilly. Yeah, yeah. I, I usually am like a 70, 71, 72-er. See, that's... So fucked up. That well, because once it gets so to weird. 71 in here, I don't need it to be any colder. I don't understand. It took me a very long time to understand how air conditioners worked. For the longest really? time, I thought that what you were setting it to was the temperature of the air that was coming out of the wall. Oh, oh sweetie. <laughs> it's not it. No, it's that's not the it. temperature it's going to get the room to. The yeah, part turns off. What you want it to be set. Or you can have yeah. it. I can't fan on all night so like I same I I just need that I need it I need it to be cold I like the cold weather I don't well, know I it. also am just an ogre and I sweat in my sleep like a bitch like I mean yeah. like in my last relationship I was like don't fucking touch me in the middle of the night I'm wet and yeah. like he would try to cuddle me in the morning he's like you're so sweaty I'm like leave me alone <laughs> yeah I need yes, to, I'm I, a little sweaty okay <laughs> am I yeah. wait and the thing is we all sweat at night like it's not sweat a ton at night i don't know yeah i wear like wrong with I me but like, yeah i'm i'm my biggest thing i know we're just like chatting now um, yeah, but my biggest <laughs> thing <laughs> my biggest thing is that i i need to smell good that's my biggest like worry mm. i'm just terrified you know you there are people you meet and it's like of, it is no judgment to their character, but some people just Smell. are sneakier. Yeah, and that's I understand. fine. That's fine. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not judging them for that. Right. I just don't want to be. I don't want anyone to ever like hug me and be like, "Oh God, oh, she smells." <laughs> exactly. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, and and so I am a. I'm the type that, even like home alone, like I've been alone for six months. I still wear deodorant every day. Like I just. So do I. Oh yeah. I can't not. There's something no. even though. Okay. I shower in the morning and I shower at night before I go to bed because I'm one of those people that's like I don't want the day on my skin yeah I don't want the day on my skin when I get back into my bed those shits are gonna be clean I'm a night shower because I don't getting into bed dirty dirty no no but here's my issue when I wake up in the morning after all that sweetie cutie sweating I did all night Mm -hmm. My armpits just, you know, they smell like absolute onions. So, you know, that cutie B.O. smell. I wear, I wear un, like, aluminum free, you know, like, natural deodorant to bed. I don't. Which is nice because I don't smell in the morning. But I put literal, like, secret dove on before I go to sleep. And I still wake up smelling like a fucking outdoor pig. Okay, well then, we're different. We're different people. (laughs) Different sleepers. Listen, I'm I'm just saying this because if there's some other girl out there who wakes up and they also smell, I want you to know, girl, that you're not alone. And if I'm alone, I'm fucking fine with being the only sweaty bitch out there. Before I put this like unscented, not unscented. What the fuck am I? Natural Uh, deodorant. Non aluminum. The natural deodorant. Before I started wearing that to bed, I woke up stinky too, mm-hmm. yeah. and I snore. So like, mm-hmm. I'm a I'm a I'm a beautiful sleeper. Yeah, I I literally pop my 
green night garden before bed. Yummy. And then, uh, yeah, I, the last guy that I dated had a cat and, um, she, which I was so allergic to, it was really a problem. Mm. Uh, but I, often I would wake up and this bitch would literally have her head like inside my mouth, like smelling my night guard. And I'm just like, Creep. hello, can you? Yeah. It's always such a, like a thing. So yeah, that's my, my story my dog, about my night guard. My dog likes to smell my morning breath. So hmm. yeah, she was like her entire, Animals I was like, am I scared. eating a cat right now? What's going on? There's a cat inside my mouth. I'm very Animals scared. are something else entirely. Very, very different pussy in my mouth experience that I've had before. There you go. Had Try to. It. I had to. All right. Um, thank you so much for coming and being on my podcast. Thanks for having me. I had so much fun. And we'll have to do it again. And we will rate the guys' girlfriends that yes, they have had are. in the past. The ladies. Yes. Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to see you again next Tuesday. Go out. Be the best person you can be. And suck as much dick as you possibly can. Bye. Woo! Let's <laughs> Yes. I thought you were going to say butt sex. Or that.